Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to show you a few examples of how to work with the multiplication and division property. Our first example says that 4x equals 3 plus 5. We have a 4x on the left side. I want to get rid of the 4, so I'm going to divide the left side by 4. But if I do that, I must also divide the right side by 4. So the left side by 4 and the right side divide by 4. Remember, we need to multiply or divide both sides of the equation by the same amount. Otherwise, the left side no longer equals the right side like it did before. On the left side, we have 4x divided by 4, which is simply x. On the right side, we have 3 plus 5, which is 8. 8 divided by 4, which is equal to 2. Here we have minus 3x equals 9. I want to get rid of the minus 3 on the left side. I can do that by dividing the left side by negative 3. Of course, if I divide the left side by negative 3, I need to divide the right side by negative 3 as well. Now the left side still equals the right side. Minus 3x divided by minus 3 is simply equal to x, and 9 divided by negative 3 is equal to negative 3. Our third example, we have 1 fifth x equals 2. I realize that if I multiply the left side by 5, the fraction 1 fifth then disappears. But if I'm going to multiply the left side by 5, then I also have to multiply the right side by 5 as well. So 1 fifth of x divided by, uh, multiplied times 5 is going to equal 2 multiplied times 5. I simply put in the parentheses just to make it visually a little bit easier to see that we're multiplying. Now, 1 fifth of times 5 is simply equal to 1, so it becomes x is equal to 2 times 5, which is 10. Here, it's a little bit more difficult to see, but let's see what we can do. We have a 3 7 x equals 2 fifths. If I multiply the left side by the inverse of that fraction, 7 over 3, then the fraction will cancel each other out. It's the multiplicative inverse property. So, I can take 3 over 7 x, and multiply that left side by 7 over 3. And we realize that we multiply 3 over 7 times 7 over 3, that's equal to 1. Of course, if I'm going to multiply the left side by 7 over 3, I should also multiply the right side by 7 over 3. Again, I don't have to put any symbol in there indicating I'm multiplying, that is assumed to be the case. And so here on the left side, 3 over 7 times 7 over 3 is 1. So I end up with an x on the left side equals 2 times 7, which is 14, divided by 5 times 3, which is 15. So the value for x is equal to 14 over 15. And again, that is how we use the multiplication and division property to simplify equations like that. That's how it's done.